Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had loads of new details of Star Citizen's dynamic events with the Nine Tails lockdown and an improved Xeno threat event, as well as Jump Town teasers. Let's jump in with what we know about the Nine Tails lockdown event. The next dynamic event is going to be the Nine Tails lockdown, and that's planned to run several times throughout the 3.14 patch cycle, which is the patch which is potentially going to be released towards the end of this month, but more likely uh, middle of July now, I think, for live. The event is also going to run beyond that patch cycle, so we're going to see it in future patches as well. In this event, the Nine Tails criminal gang are going to lock down stations owned by Crusader Security. Then both sides will be recruiting players to help end or continue the lockdown. So this has PvP and two sides, but there's also going to be a huge amount of PvE content going on too. The event breaks down into four phases. The first phase is the prologue. It informs players that the event is going to start at some point in the uh, near future, within the like the next half an hour, hour, I think. That sort of thing. It's pretty short uh, time period. Uh, eventually, phase two will start. This has Crusader security aware that a quantum blockade is happening around a station. They will have players protecting ships that are sent out to scan for the source of the blockade. At the same time, Nine Tails are recruiting players to destroy those same ships. So, two sides, one defending the ships, one attacking them. Star Citizen QA teams have done a lot of testing for this and have played around a lot for different tactics and balance. It is more a sandbox version of PvP here. Phases 3 and 4 of the event are yet to be revealed. It's possible that they are heavily affected by the outcomes of Phase 2 though. Moreover, there is some additional content and interesting things for us to discover during the event that will not explicitly be handed to us. When compared to Xeno Threat, it is a much smaller event and can be scaled down into 3-4 to four hours of gameplay. The idea is that they want many of these events to be able to be switched on and switched off in the future but also they can run this event multiple times throughout a patch cycle, evolve it slightly, run it in the next patch cycle, and you can have this potentially in the game forever in some form. So it sounds like the phases for this particular event are going to be immediately contiguous. So they're going to directly follow on after each other over a three to four hour gameplay period. And it's going to be run multiple times. You could have it maybe a couple of times each weekend or throughout the week or whatever. But um, it's not something you can just like, oh, I missed out that event. Now I, I'm never going to see it again. That's not the case with this. But that's not all. They're also in the process of improving the Xenothreat event. So I thought this was going to be an entirely new Xenothreat event. However, it looks like they're just remastering the event. Dynamic events will come in many shapes and sizes and also help CIG test core gameplay like the lore, combat um, systems, spawn timers and much, much more. They acknowledged that there were issues with the length of Xeno Threat and some of its phases and they want to do something about that and give players the true Xeno Threat mission experience. They appear to be merging the resupply and battle fleet phases together um, in a similar way that they had um, for uh, what we just talked about uh, with the Nine Tails lockdown so they are directly contiguous uh, after each other and you don't have to wait until the next day or uh, a huge period of time afterwards before going to the next stage. So the plan now is that you'll resupply the javelin in the cargo phase uh, and then that will immediately then once it's supplied you'll uh, have to follow it into the battle area and go and fight the Xenothreat fleet. You'll want to have protected the Javelin in the previous phase though, otherwise it's already going to be damaged for that larger battle. Now, that's really interesting because that does change up things quite a lot. And, and actually being able to run through the cargo phase and then the battle phase together means that that event is much longer in a, a single section, which um, I think really does benefit uh, the Xeno Threat sort of mission. There is a huge amount of fixes and minor changes too. The hostility system remembers damage that uh, an individual ship has taken from what source. So, for example, you could have shot the Javelin by accident and it be hostile to you, but have more things to deal with in the short term, uh, and then you forget that it was hostile to you, and then it will start attacking you once it's dealt with all the pirate threats or whatever. Um, so that's not great. Now, there is decay. So if you've accidentally shot a friend or the Javelin, you're going to start to lose threat over time, and hopefully um, this will mean that Friendly Fire is going to be a lot more forgiving, and they've made it um, more lenient with AI now in general as well, uh, Friendly Fire. But obviously, um, if you shoot players, uh, that's going to quite quickly go, no, you're a criminal, shot a, a friendly player, 
Um, and if you constantly shoot um, a AI or the javelin or whatever, and you're supposed to be friendly to it, well, that's going to give you a criminal rating and it's not going to lose um, its sort of like threat with you for a long, long time. They added a new audio dialogue for Xeno Threat. They wanted to have some deeper signposting of what to do during the cargo phase, reminding players to scan ships to see if they've got cargo on rather than um, boarding them and going, I can't find where the cargo is. Why is there no cargo on this, on the staff error? Uh, they're are going to be rewards as well that are affected by reputation. So you can build up reputation with the CDF um, who uh, run that Xeno Threat mission basically and you can get rewards from that. They didn't mention if the, there was going to be any form of PvP um, sort of focused gameplay like we're going to have with the Night Owls Lockdown. Uh, so it does look like they, they want this to be more PvE orientated, at least at the moment. Alongside the event, they're also going to have some new capacitor gameplay, scanning and missile and combat updates and all of the other goodness that the new patches bring. Don't expect an exact replay of the event. It has evolved and hopefully significantly improved. But I do find it interesting that they basically are, as they said, remastering it rather than having an entirely new event. I suppose that makes sense. I just, um, I didn't think they were going to do that. Uh, this sounds like it will probably be after 3.14, most likely a 3.15 sort of uh, thing after they've gone through all of the Nine Tails lockdown uh, this sort of round uh, and done a load of stuff. And maybe it's possible we could see it towards the very end of 3.14 in my opinion, but uh, more likely a 3.15 next quarter thing. They also said coming up is Jump Town 2 as well. So keep an eye out for that. That's actually really exciting to me. Even just a little teaser of, ooh, Jump Town 2. Um, they're going to talk about this in the future. Jump Town was amazing fun for cargo haulers, escort pirates, um, orgs, and players making sandbox emergent gameplay content out of high risk, high reward area, Jump Town. And yeah, that was genuinely some of the best fun I've ever had in Star Citizen. It was, um, it was fantastic. So hopefully they understand what made that good and they can plop that in and plop in some Jump Town 2-esque goodness, whatever that means. Uh, we have heard of an Infiltrator event happening at some point as well, but we don't have any details on that yet, other than it's not in the not-too-distant future. And boom! I think that's uh, pretty exciting, mainly because dynamic events seem to be the most fun things in Star Citizen and give lots of reasons to play in patches and at uh, the times that they're sort of going on. But what do you think? Are you more excited by the Nine Towers Lockdown or the remastered Xeno Threat? what's sort of like your event of choice there from what you know about them. Are you worried that the Nine Tails Lockdown, um, that maybe uh, Nine Tails players might ram the ship that's scanning so that they'll easily be able to win, or the scenario might be heavily unbalanced, or, well, actually, hopefully they have a solution for that already, and that's been QA'd and, uh, and thought about. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. I am worried about having someone on my team helping the other team. That's probably my major worry with this sort of balance, but... I'd love to know what your thoughts are and what we might see out of Jump Town 2 and what you think about these dynamic events that they're working on. Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway and June is no different. We are giving away a Mercury Star Runner to one lucky viewer that comments on one of my videos made during June on the YouTubes. Just get involved in the comment section, ask a question or tell me what you think about the video or the subject we were discussing. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.